I was born in Europe, in Vienna, at a time, well, of massive social regression to what I call a domination system. It was the rise to power of the Nazis, first in Germany and then in my native Austria. So from one day to the next, my whole world collapsed and my parents and I, we became hunted with license to kill. My father was the most powerful figure in my life. On crystal night, I saw how he was pushed down the stairs by a gang of Gestapo men. That was very hard. And it was only by a hair's breadth. We were actually on one of the last ships to Cuba, uh, before one that was turned back to St. Louis. That ship was not permitted to land anywhere. It had to go back to Europe. And of course, many of the people on board were murdered by the Nazis, as happened to most of my family, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins. Growing up that way and witnessing and experiencing what I did led me to questions, questions that most of us have asked about whether it has to be this way when we humans have such an enormous capacity for caring. Why has there been so much insensitivity, so much cruelty, so much destructiveness? So when I set out on my research, I actually drew from a much larger database than most studies. And I began to see patterns configurations historically and cross-culturally that are not visible using these very fragmenting lenses. Such as right or left, religious or secular, Eastern or Western, capitalist or socialist, and so on. Particularly revisiting the story of our cultural origins. A fascinating picture began to emerge.